Let's talk about the Astrohori $700 probe lens, which is a much cheaper copy of the Laowa $1500 probe lens, which is pretty legendary. These lenses are very unique, uh, you can see how they look, they look like no other lenses and they can get very very close, up to two times magnification, but you can also focus to infinity and everything in between, so they are pretty flexible. The focal length is 28 mm, so it's pretty wide for a macro lens. And it's great then for video, of course, because you get a lot of the surroundings, even when you're focusing really close. The lower probe lens, as a comparison, is slightly wider at 24 mm, so that is one small difference between these two lenses. The Astrohori probe lens comes for most of the mirrorless mounts, Sony, Fuji, Canon, Nikon, also RE PL mount. It does not seem to come from Micro Four Thirds from what I can see, but it should be possible with some kind of adapter. It's a completely manual lens, no electronics whatsoever. The lens comes in a very nice suitcase, just uh, like the Laowa lens does, and it comes in two pieces that you have to put together yourself. It's very easy to put them together, and it almost makes you feel like a sniper on a secret mission in a movie. It has cog wheels for focusing and for aperture, so uh, if you have a follow focus rig it's prepared for that. And this lens is mainly suited for videographers, and I will tell you more about why in a moment. The feeling of quality I would say is very very good, and this goes for all the Astrohori lenses that I've tried so far. They have very good build quality, the aperture ring feels very very smooth, the max aperture here is f13, so it's very similar to the max aperture of f14 that you have on the Laowa probe lens. Also, the focusing ring, very, very smooth, and the whole lens feels sturdy and well built. The front of the lens, I guess beyond this point, is waterproof, and <laughs> we will try that out in a moment in this video. And that is just like Laowa's probe lens, so it's great if you want to stick it into water or some other liquid. And just like the Laowa lens, this one also comes with a light at the front, small LEDs that are very bright, and you can use the cable that I've supplied with the lens to adjust the strength of the lights so that you can get the right amount. However, in my experience, it's much better to have your own lighting. These lights are bright, but they are not diffused. They will give you a very harsh look that is not that pretty, but it's good to have. You put in a USB-C cable in the side of the lens to uh, power the light and then you stick it into a USB power bank or even into a USB wall socket if you want to. For all the video footage you see in this video taken with the probe lens, I used my own video lights with my own diffusers on them. I did never use the built-in light uh, because I know from experience that it doesn't look that good when it's not diffused. So I just went with my own lights right from the start. Let's look at some video footage I took with this lens. I attempted to do some cool slides. I used the Miops uh, automated slider here, a really great product that I will review in a later video. And uh, you really need some good slider to get that smooth motion that you want to, to get some nice uh, sliding shots. Uh, however, I noticed that uh, even though I had a slider and a pretty stable table, still I got a little bit of wobbling from the lens because it's so incredibly long. So you want to make sure to use a um, really good tripod head, uh, really good mounting. My, I guess the fault here was my tripod head which is some cheap tripod head. Uh, I should have had a better one. Also, as you can see, I'm not much of a macro cinematographer. <laughs> My shots are not really that professional, but I tried my best and you can get a feel for how the lens renders its footage. And I would say for video, this lens looks great, don't you agree? It provides a nice uh, professional looking um, image, but this lens is soft. It is noticeably softer than the Laowa probe lens, it really is a difference. When I look at photos from the Laowa probe lens, I would say they are sharp, especially since the max aperture is f14, so you get some diffraction in there. Still, I think Laowa's probe lens gives sharp 
images. They look really good even at two times magnification. But no matter how hard I tried, I never was able to get a super sharp photo with Astro Hori Probe lens. It has a slight bit of softness to it, it and it's not only due to the diffraction, it's simply not as sharp as the Laua Probe lens. And I really really tried to get a sharp photo with the Astro Hori Probe lens. I tried at two times magnification, at one time magnification, I tried different kinds of lightning, I even uh, compared my setup with Laowa 25mm to see if I had some wrong setting in my camera or something else, but no, the Astro Hori Probe lens is not tack sharp. So which one should you buy, the Laowa or the Astro Hori? Well, if you're gonna take stills with it, if you're gonna like photograph insects, then I would definitely go with the Laowa lens. Because when you take stills, the sharpness really matters, especially when you zoom in on a photo or if you crop it, and there you will see a big difference between the Astro Hori and the Laowa. But both of these lenses are mainly intended for videography, mainly intended for doing the kind of slides that I showed you in this video. And when you compare this footage side by side, I don't think the difference is as noticeable. Please have a look for yourself, have a look at my Lava Problems review video and compare for yourself uh, the footage and see what you think. Also, it's of course a matter of budget. If you want the best problems and you have the money, if you have $1500 to spend, go with the Lava Lens. If you're on a budget and you don't wanna spend as much but still get pretty much everything you get with the lower problems but a slightly softer image then you should go with Astro Hori. I would say that despite being slightly softer in image quality I think the Astro Hori problems is still great value for money.